It's 2017 and Old Time Radio DVD is still here. Check out our new customer ownership program and the lowest prices ever. Just go to oldtimeradiodvd.com for full information about this wonderful program. Don't forget our new program, 123 Ready TV. Folks, this is really a great app for Android and Windows phones, computers, and tablets. And it's only $19.99. In the near future, we will be adding a new component to it, Old Time Radio. It's a great product for 2017. Visit oldtimeradiodvd.com today. Place your order. You'll be glad you did. It was just past dawn at the hillside race track. The morning mist still hung heavy across the paddock and the stables. Stretched in level layers across the track where the horses were getting their early morning workout. On the rail, a jockey perched a little distance from a heavy set man. The corner on the back stretch now, Jerry. They're coming. Uh, don't forget the clock. Um... That's Firefly and Sun. Uh, can't see in this mist. I know. I know how he sounds when he runs. That's Firefly. Come on, Firefly. Come on, boy. Pick him up, baby. Come on. Uh, Come on, Firefly. Uh, talking to me? The name Jerry? It might be. It's okay. Uh, I'm from the newspaper. Oh, okay. Let me talk. Well, what's the matter with right here? Kid. We don't want any leaks. We're going to keep this story exclusive, get it? Okay. We can go on toward the stables. All right, really. I need fun, you know? Here they come! Here they come! I got the clock on Firefly! Jerry! Jerry, I got the clock! Firefly did a mile in one... Jerry! Gosh, you ain't here. <laughs> Nobody to listen now. I, I didn't expect you so soon. The newspaper goes to press. Boss didn't want any story to miss the first edition. This better be good. I ain't used to getting up so early. Shoot. Well, mister, I like horse racing, see? I've been around race tracks since I was old enough to stub my toe on a horseshoe. I worked as jockey, trainer, handler, starter, groom. Oh, yeah, never mind the personal history, huh? I don't get you. Just give me the facts. Well, well mister, Firefly is a favorite to cop the big race. It's in Trailer Estates? Yeah. Is that your story? Everybody knows that. Oh, wait, when you're beating this car. Firefly's a favorite, but there's going to be some dirty work. Go ahead. I got it straight. The race is going to be fixed. Fixed? Yeah. Don't Wallaby on Firefly? Oh, Wallaby's as straight as a string. I don't mean him. He never done anything crook in his life. I mean professional gamblers. That's why I call the paper. You know a lot, don't you? I've been around. I... You don't talk like a newspaper man. How do I know you're from the Sentinel? Where else would I be from? I don't know. Got one of them press cards? I left it home. Now, come on. Hey, maybe you ain't a newspaper man at all. I tell you. You get your press card and I'll talk. Don't huh? be nuts, I tell you. I'm... What in... Who's that? I'm called Mr. X. <laughs> Mr. X? I thought that was a gag. The Sentinel carries stories about Mr. X, but I thought... Tell us what you thought, Jerry. Tell us everything. You hear that car coming along the road? There'll be more people around soon. The sun will burn away the fog. Tell us everything. Uh, you, this fella, he ain't a new paper man. He ain't a new paper man at all. Better watch where you're driving, Reed. I wish I could, Axford. This fog is still very heavy. You're the one that got that phone call last night? Yeah, Reed. I was sitting in the city room with the phone ring. I picked it up and says it's the Sentinel. The fellow whispers to come to the track around dawn and ask for Jerry. He says he wants to tell us about a racetrack scheme. A crooked scheme. Just ask for Jerry, huh? That's all. Just Jerry. <laughs> Golly, Reed, you could have knocked me over with a feather bed when you said you'd come along with me this morning. And so early. That's nice this time of the morning, actually. It will be when the fog lets up. Hey, slow down. That looks like something up ahead. It is. It's a string of horses. Coming in from exercise. Looking horse you've got. That's Firefly. Jerry and I were watching him do a mile, but when I turned around, Jerry was gone. First time he ever walked right away in the middle of a tie We're from the Sentinel. He was expecting it. No, that's odd. You, uh, you don't know where he's gone? No, sir. He, uh, just wandered off? Well, I had a kind of feeling someone was talking to him, but I was so excited clocking Firefly, I didn't notice. Firefly worked a mile in 138. I see. Well, Steady, Firefly. Please, hold it close. Don't push up. Over this way. Come on, Axford. Firefly, stop that. Stop, stop, stop. Who's been shooting this 
find the day over this low fence, Axel. <laughs> doggone car. We're spending our Axel. We... So, and snake. Axel, this man's been shot. Laying on the ground. Roll him over. To his face. Got it. Poor fellow. He's dead, Axel. Oh, if I was nervous, I came as fast as... Firefly. We ain't using dope. You're 
Spotted or not, a spotted bed. Firefly won't be in that race. Huh? Come on, we'll go down to the garage. I want to show you something. Mr. Rex told me to do it tonight. That means just you and me. That way there won't be no slip up. <laughs> Good thing I had you planted at the racetrack watching all of them. You might never have spotted Jerry making that phone call. We're doing what tonight? Take a gander, Logan. Uh, it's a horseman. Yeah, with a horse in it. Well, I'm busted at that horse. Firefly. No, it ain't. It is Firefly. No, it ain't, Logan. That's Firefly's brother. Then ring it for him, huh? Well, Swagler's the same horse. Sure. So with everybody that sees him in a big race. Firefly's a sure winner, Logan. But this horse can't run with a lick. Now with him in instead of Firefly, Stingaree wins in a cakewalk. <laughs> That's what we're fixing tonight. We're going out to the racetrack tonight. We're leaving this horse and we're taking Firefly away. Do you get it? Mr. Rick, you sure we do wise things? It's very dangerous coming here to race. And dark. We can stay outside. Stable to dark. We'll leave the car here. Take a look. Cato. Mr. Rick. What is horse walking for this time, Mike? Look, over there. Something taken in the truck. Mr. Pitt, something very strange. We must go after him. No, Kato. But Mr. Pitt, this way. This way, go to stable, Mr. Pitt. What about truck? What about horse? I want to see Firefly stall. I not Hurry. understand. Oh, it's all right, sir. There, Firefly. He's not been taken away. And so much relief. Yeah, wait a minute, Kato. There's something else. Sir, sir, I told you somebody was in Firefly Stall. I see him. He's wearing a mask. Kato, quick. Back to the Black Beauty. Sir, they go get him. Firefly. Firefly, you all right, boys? Did they do anything to you? <laughs> Stop that call. Stop it. It's the Green Hornet. It's the Green Hornet. I 
Teddy Casey, my theory is that the Green Hornet done that racetrack murder. Prove it, expert. Holy cow, I'm going to. Just because the police can't get the answers, that don't mean my collapse with it. Excuse me, Mr. Vince. Hello, what are you doing, Mr. Vince? He is in for yes, but he's... Hey, wait, you can't go into these office. He's talking on the telephone. Oh, yeah. well, 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 give you all the help you need. Mr. I, I'll call you back to make that. Cato, you failed the band? That is true, yes. Like you say, I failed down in Black Beauty. Then I come back this morning early and put car in hiding place. Mr. Vitt, you correct her. Governor, they still want them fire back. Tonight, we get busy, yes? It's eight o'clock, Mr. Vitt. Now it's time for us to go, yes? There's been a lot of money bet on the second choice horse in tomorrow's race, Cato. Undercover money. Horse name Stingery? Yes. If Firefly doesn't run in that race, Cato. Yes, yes, Mr. Vitt. It uh, make much money for crooked gambler. Is it not so? We've got to put Firefly back in that race. I understand, Mr. Vitt. And we must do it without gambler know about it, yes? If not so, then they withdraw all their money. The car is below. Just to the electric travel. Did I open the starting panel to go hiding place of car? The sliding panel opened. Carrying the hornet mask and the gas weapon, Britt Reed and Cato stepped through. Then went along a narrow passage built within the wall of the apartment house itself. A passage that led directly to the adjoining building. Seen from the streets, this building looked abandoned, deserted. But within stood the sleek, superpowered black beauty. Streamlined car of the Green Hornet. Rick Reed crossed the concrete floor. Swiftly seated himself behind the wheel of the huge auto. Cato slipped in beside him. The door slammed. The motor roared. As the great car leaped forward, a section of the wall slid up on oil hinges. And the Black Beauty rushed into the darkness of the night. Fast. 
behind us and see what you do. Just work, Lowry. Just plain old-fashioned yeah, work. I don't suppose the boss is in. This early in the morning? Don't be silly. Oh, it's too bad you're slaves to that type of education. Sunny shining, the little braces are breathing, and your pal Lowry is off to the races. <laughs> How come? You're supposed to be a reporter. Yeah, the best. <laughs> thought a reporter worked. When do you play the horses instead of the news? Ah, uh-huh. well, once they go together. Yeah, here, here my duck of three passes. And that's my assignment. Gunnigan gave it to me just now. I'm covering the Centralia stakes for the Daily Sentinel. I'll bet Axford is burning. He will be when he finds out. <laughs> you know his job? He's supposed to be watching Rossiter. <laughs> he covers the crime angle and I cover the race. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, Casey, when I get back. Well, that's all right. Oh, boy. Mr. Reed, good grief, what are you doing in so early? Oh, didn't you sleep? Yeah, you do look sort of washed out, boss. You've been out all night. Larry, you have two tickets. Who goes with you? I haven't asked anyone yet, boss. I just got him from Gunnigan. Okay, I'm giving you the day off, Miss Case. You're uh, going to the race. <laughs> I come right in for you. I thought you were watching Rossiter. Ah, Rossiter. For sake, who gives a hoot about that hoodlum? Wallaby just got to town. He took one look at his horse fire fly and hit the singer. Reed, he said his ain't the right horse. I could swear this horse and firefly stole it's not firefly. Look, he's got a bruise across his muzzle, a mark from the butt of a whip. I'm positive no one hit firefly. That's right, he didn't have it yesterday. Oh, what's the matter, Wallaby? You backing out? You scared your horse won't make a good showing? <laughs> Anybody can see that firefly. Ross and I have heard rumors that you plunge heavily on this race. Sure. I bet on Stingaree. I think he's going to take it. This horse couldn't be firefly. Look at the face. Yes, but... Firefly had a brother. The same fire and the same dam. Gosh, maybe this is that other horse. They look just as much alike as two peas. Fixing your alibis ahead of time, huh, Wallaby? <laughs> Come on, Wallaby, scratch your horse. Either way, I win. If this horse isn't Firefly, doesn't stand a chance. Why should I put my jockey up on a horse that can't run for... I, what are you going to do? We are going to race him, Bobby. It's too late to do anything else. Well, that's supposed to be nervous. Firefly was never nervous. Gosh, I, I can't look. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready.
is over. The thing will be lost. The thing will be lost, and I lose 150000 Take it to the cleaner. I'll go out for that. Mr. Ray, Mr. out of it. Logan, I'm sunk on lips. I have a good mind to tell a cop that was you that murdered that groom. You'd go to the chair. No, you can't. You go with me. You gave the orders. Listen, I couldn't stop the Green Hornet. He's out after Mr. X. That's it's right. between you and me, get it? The Hornet won't ever get Mr. X. Forget that. But I'm going to choke you within an inch of your life. You're all right for wiping up bums like Jerry, but when it comes to a job with a We heard everything. The law can take care of you now. You two rats run or rest for murder. Come on, you were listening. Yeah, mister. You talk too loud. You both talk too loud. Hey, Casey, you got a camera? I want to take a picture of those two skunks. It'll look good on page one. I brought my camera, Lowry, but don't forget the credit for this story goes to the Green Hornet. Remember that when you write the story. <laughs> 